All right, this is your Thought of Heaven for today, and I'm here with Ernie Sloan. Say hi, Ernie. Hello. Ernie's here with me, and I met Ernie several years ago, uh, and I was able to share the message of Jesus with Ernie and remind him of God's goodness and how God's presence is forever with us, um, no matter our circumstances. And so don't allow your circumstances to convince you that God has left you or that you've been separated for his love from his love, for the Bible clearly states uh, that nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Uh, and so God loves us, and once we put our faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, He is with us, and He desires to become the center of our life and lead us through all the trials and tribulations, ultimately into glory in heaven and in His presence forever. Hallelujah! And so you may ask yourself, well, why am I here today? Uh, <laughs> bringing you into you watching me get a haircut and yeah. I do need a haircut and so over time as I um, began to build relationship with Ernie and, and Ernie would be seeking to meet with me and I would be seeking to meet with Ernie uh, I came to discover that Ernie knows how to cut hair and he knows how to cut hair very well and Ernie Thank would you. you say that you're gifted God bless me yeah, so are you gifted in cutting hair? Yes, sir. I thought I was blessed. Yes, you are blessed. And so Ernie recognizes, and, and God allowed me to recognize, that Ernie has a gift. Uh, and so God gives us gifts, just as you heard from uh, Kayla's story, uh, that she was gifted with the ability to bake. And so she chose to use that gift um, to make a living. Ernie also made a living off of cutting hair. Uh, and he continues to make a living off of cutting hair. So God gives us special abilities that are unique to us that we can use um, to provide for ourselves and then also use it as a conversation to glorify God. Uh, that we can say, yes, God has given me this. And we can use it in faith uh, to go forward and give him glory. And so I was inspired to share this with Ernie. I said, Ernie, why don't you start cutting my hair? And so several years ago, Ernie started cutting my hair on a regular basis. And so praise God, I now have a regular barber uh, who knows what he's doing. And you know what you're doing. Yes, sir. Thank you. And you do a good job. And so then praise God also through our time together, we're able to encourage one another in the Lord. Uh, and so God has brought us together that I can encourage Ernie and Ernie can encourage me. And Ernie can also help me look good. And so praise God for that, because we all need help, right? We're all here not to live in isolation, but we're here to, to live first and foremost before God and to be connected with God, and then secondary to live amongst one another uh, that we all can share the gifts that we have been given. And so here's your encouragement today, uh, is to, if maybe you're wondering what is my gift, or maybe where are my gifts, um, to, to believe first and foremost that Jesus died for you to forgive you of your sins and that God has blessed you with gifts and abilities that are unique and he wants you to use those gifts um, to help provide for your life and also to engage with others and so ask God if you're unsure and if you have an idea of what that gift or gifts may be start using them today because we don't know how much time on this earth we have left and I can assure you that God no longer through Christ is looking at your sin but rather he is saying what have you done with the gifts that I have given you and have you been faithful to that little so that when we come into heaven, much more will be given to us. Hallelujah for that good news. And so here's your exhortation for today from Romans chapter 13, verses 11 through 14. And do this, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand, Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. There's a lot in those few verses, but the main thing I want you to take home for, for today as your thought of heaven is that now is the time. If you've been sleeping awake, if you've been complacent, become active. We have an act of faith in Jesus Christ. God calls us to move forward in faith. Take a step of faith today with the gifts that you believe you've been given. What brings you joy? What brings you peace? What brings you satisfaction? Ask God how you can use that to bring glory to his name. Don't be distracted by anything else, but come before the Father and humble yourself 
and ask him, God, thank you for this gift. How can this gift be used? Is there something more that you want me to do with it? And take a step of faith and try it out. And don't be afraid. Nothing separates you from the love of God. He will help you. He will encourage you. If you fall short, don't worry. In fact, expect it. But know that God will pick you up and set you forward once again. And so do not give up. Do you hear me in Jesus' name? This is your thought of heaven. You are loved.